Alright, so this is the tutorial on Fly Me to the Moon. Uh, thank you everyone who participated in the polling. Um, I'm actually really excited to do this tutorial because it's arranged so beautifully and I've got a lot to talk about this, you know, the harmony, the technique that was used, um, just whole arrangement side of it as well. Let's jump into the tutorial. Um, let's take a look at bar one. This song is in swing. So when we're counting, we're counting triplet, 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 triplet. So bar one. All right. So um, if you look at bar two, there is a bit of shift. So it goes. So, right. So here to here. Here to here. So this could be a little bit tricky when you practice it. When I first tried to practice this, um, the way I practiced was like this. I just played a whole chord. I was trying to get used to the shift. Here to here, here to here. Just practice enough that you don't really have to look at the fretboard when you play it. And once you get that done, then try to put the melody. And just make sure you play this note and that note short so that you have enough time to shift to the next chord. If you hold on to that for too long, it's gonna sound too rough when you shift like this. You know, you see like this, it's too rough. We just wanna make it really light. Right? Alright, so bar three. So what's happening here is that for the first bit, we're kind of playing the straight 16th feel, right? So that's what's happening. So here, when I play this, it's the 16th. And here, back to swing. When you play bar 5, just pay attention to the voice leading here that right so and if you look at bar six we've got shift from bar five here make sure you play this note with your third finger because we need to play this note with our pinky so it goes and at this point you can let your third finger go So this is really important part of this arrangement. So when I first transcribed it, I was actually playing this. But then I realized, you know, something was missing. So I was repeating Walter's video over and over. And then I found out that he was actually doing this. struggled a lot playing this and if you've seen my other videos when I usually play my thumbs like all over the place you know the movement is really wide my tip on this part is just make your right hand motion really small um, because the bigger the motion the less accuracy there is next bar bar 10 So the fingering here is really important. So we need to get to this chord, but then we are coming from here. So we got pinky here and index finger here, and we need to arrive with our second finger. And just make sure play this seven, seventh fret. Just play this note short because that first finger also need to go there so again from bar 10 
You see, there is a little pause, right? Do da do. Alright, so this is really exciting. So, when I first heard this song, I was like, wait. I heard this from somewhere. And it was actually from Can't Take My Eyes Off You by Sylvia and Luke and Broly, um, their recording. The song goes like. Which is the same chord progression, but then I think it was in B flat. I was so excited to see the same chord progression here. So, da, da. right? Again, slowly. Okay, so same thing is happening here in bar fourteen. We are playing the sixteenth straight feel so da, 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 da. right um, in bar 14 I've put down this dot but you don't necessarily have to play it short if you want to make it more dramatic you can play it. you know you can it as well but then the way I played was probably you know again we're starting on the fourth bit one two three four so this could be a little bit tricky so just practice this section separately If it's hard, you know, playing this bass note and then this one as well, you can sort of take it up. So you can play like that too. Okay, so we've got this. Let's take a look at bar 21. So we've got that ghost note again before we jump into this chord. So right, right, bar twenty. It's a big stretch there, so just be careful because it could sound like this. Yeah, just practice this stretch. Bar twenty five. Twenty-six is alright. Try to make the triplet rhythm really clear, so don't don't rush there. So da -da. don't do that. <laughs> da -da -da. We've got harmonic at the end of bar twenty-seven. All right, so let me just play from bar twenty-seven slowly. Ghost note is important here. Uh. So here, I practiced the position first. So I was just going. So just practice the position a few times, and then once you get comfortable with it, then try to add the ghost note. Loud, so dun 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 da, right? So imagine there is a drum, drum playing with you. Right? The rhythm is. So try to get that feel, you know. The bar 34 is actually tricky because this note we have to we have to mute it when we play this bass note. 
So here E note is ringing and then as I play A I'm muting it with my thumb. So if you don't mute um, the sixth string, it's gonna sound muddy. So see these two notes are ringing at the same time like so that's not pretty. So just practice um, after playing this and when you play the A note uh, right, to mute it. Same goes here. So, so we don't want them we don't want these two notes ringing at the same time. I'm actually using red stroke to mute A string. Right, so now they are not ringing together. It's only E E string that's ringing. I mean, if you don't mind them ringing at the same time, you don't have to worry about it. But for me, you know, I I want it to mute it. So here, just make this note short. This is another very tricky part. Again, practice, you know, block of chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And once you get that right, and now try to add the rhythm. Triple, 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 triple. Okay. Okay, so I, I realized after putting the video on YouTube, this rhythm is actually wrong. It's supposed to be this. So, right? Correct. Bar 42. Okay, so the fingering here is really important, okay? So make sure you arrive with your pinky. Earlier we played... We arrived with second finger because we were, doing, we were playing this. But in this case, we have to arrive with our pinky because the next chord is gonna be... Right, so... This chord is beautiful, by the way. I don't know how he does it. But here's the thing. Um, as I was transcribing, you know, I was still listening to his music on YouTube. And then there was another song, you know, he played like this. So let's, let's take a look at this one. There. So he does the same thing. It's a beautiful. So just be careful with the rhythm here. So, dum ba ba boom ba do ba. So again, imagine the drummer playing with you. Actually, if you watch my video, I didn't play so accurately here. I I think I played something like do da do di do da, as if it was straight, not swing. But then it's supposed to sound like do ba do ba ba. You know, it should be like more bouncy than what I played on the video. Moving on, so from bar 44, okay. So there is a ghost note. When you play this ghost note, just use that time to change the chord. So like this. Change. made little adjustment here he go 
goes like that. But then, like from here, I don't know. I I find that really tricky. You know, whenever I played it, it sounded too rough. You know, that shit. So I made a little change here to make it easier. So it goes. I mean, it's pretty nice though. I I like it. Um, you know, there there is um, the the voice leading happening. So, So I think it's pretty smooth. So So instead of playing you can you can add more, you know, the dramatic feeling to it. So right? Something like that. As you can see, the fingering on bar 52 is this, but you know, my index finger is pretty fat <laughs> and I can't, if I do this, it kind of bends the note when I do this. Um, just try to listen to it. Did you hear that? When I play it, I just um, exclude this note and just use this finger just be careful with the rhythm because when we first play this the rhythm was right but this time is so bar 56 same thing as before It's the same thing again. If you look at bar 63, it goes. Right? I, I think it's beautiful. There is a drum that goes like. Bar 63, it's almost like there is an upright bass player. So it's the combination of this jazz trio guitar, bass, drum. So okay, from bar 63, let's take it slow. Right? We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, so from bar 64. Right? Okay, so let's just talk about the ending. So bar 68, the way Walter holds this chord is actually... Right? It's so hard to play on my classical guitar. When I actually tried to play it... It's, it's too hot. I can't do it. So I, I just take this note out and just play this one. So. I guess that's it for this lesson. If there is any other tutorials that you want me to make, um, just comment down. And also, if you have any questions regarding this arrangement, there might be some stuff that I might have missed. So just feel free to comment down. I'll try to answer as much as I can. All right, thank you so much for watching. I think, I don't know, how long is... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.